What up, what up, world? It's your boy Oscar Mike. Someone asked me to do a video about some of the things that are just happening uh, in our economy and what I would do right now or what am I doing right now. All right, so I'm gonna break it down for you. All right, the price of gas is high. We already talked about that. The cap price of gas is over $4, uh, for every state in our country right now. Uh, it's gonna be a diesel shortage this summer. A lot of trucking companies are going out of business already. Uh, the prices of uh, goods and services is continually going up. We don't have enough, tr believe it or not, with all the people starting all these trucking companies, we still don't have enough trucks on the road to get goods from distribution centers, you know, to the, the consumer. Um, also, just the, the price of just keeping those trucks on the road is too high and the gas is too high, which is driving a lot of those businesses out of business as well. I have a friend of mine who had a dump truck bus business and a trucking business, just went bankrupt or whatever, sold them, and is now working for someone else. All right, stocks are down. We got our earnings reports from Walmart, which were down, and our earnings reports from Target. People only spend the money on food and health and beauty. So they want to get fat. They want to put a bunch of makeup and stuff on. All right. Rents are going up. I told you the price of the brick was going up. Rents are going up right now. People can't afford houses. Rising interest rates are going up. A lot of people can't afford houses now because they have to pay more every month for that house. So it's going to create a rental market probably for like the next 10 years. So if you own real estate, uh, uh, rents are up 17% in this country. They're going to go up even more. All right. Uh, housing, we're not building new houses, builders of prices, goods and services, and the demand, even though we have a high demand, people can't, you know, afford the mortgages, so they're not going to be building as much. All right, options traders are getting beat. We saw that yesterday. Wages are stagnant, so people aren't making money. So what do you need to do in your life? You need to make more money. All right, so let me show you what a guy like Oscar Mike, what, what I would do or what I'm going to do. This is uh, true and true, you know. I will do this right now. So, all right, right now what I'll do is I'll transfer money into M1 Finance. All right, so duplexes, uh, I'm, I'm looking for duplexes in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, the price of a duplex right now is a little bit over 200000 I'm going to try to get it, you know, under 200000 So I would need somewhere forty, forty-five thousand dollars $45,000, whatever the case may be, to be able to, get that said house. So what I would do is first take money out of my TD, transfer stocks out of my TD Ameritrade, out of Robinhood, um, and out of E-Trade or whatever into M1 Finance. M1 Finance allows me to borrow off my money for 2.75%. So what I would do is, let's say for example, if I can get 100,000 into my M1 Finance account, at that point, I can borrow up to 40% of that money, which I can borrow $40,000. $40,000, 20% of $200,000 is about $40,000. But I want to get it, you know, sub $200K. That's what I want to get a property, sub $200K. I know that on that $200,000 mortgage, right, on that $200,000 mortgage for a duplex, right, my mortgage is going to be somewhere around $1,000, all right? I'm going to rent out each side for over, just slightly over, a thousand dollars, right? So they give me two hundred. I'm sorry, not two hundred. Two thousand dollars a month, which are pretty much going to give me somewhere around four hundred to five hundred dollars a month extra off of that property, right? So I'll make anywhere off each door, 400 to $500, just depending, you know, what my debt service is and if I got to pay for people to cut the grass, things of that sort, right? So automatically, I'll give myself somewhere, oh, uh, you know, what's, I'll give myself an extra, let's just say I'll get the 500. I'll give myself an extra $500 a month. So I just gave myself an extra 12,000 for that year. Your job's not giving you an extra $12,000 paycheck. And imagine if I get two, then I'm giving myself an extra $24,000 a year. I'm only messing with duplexes. I'm not messing with four units. I'm not messing with single families. Right now, I'm only messing with duplexes. Like literally, I can give myself a raise like this this year. What I'm gonna do, and what I'm doing, is I'm taking assets I already have, and I'm leveraging them. 
I can literally borrow off the assets that I already have, take that money, pay off the money that I borrowed. It's already my money. And I now I have another cash producing asset. And see, a lot of you people don't know the secrets, man. You're sitting around, you're buying all this stupid stuff, you're talking about stupid stuff. And I'm telling you, with all this disconcern and all the issues that we have in this country, this is the time that you get rich, man. 2008 almost broke me, bro. It almost broke me, but see, now I know the secrets. Now I just build a big, big portfolio and I borrow off the assets that I already have to buy more assets. So let's say the economy goes down, people don't pay their rents, whatever the case may be, I have cash. So sorry, the video cut out. So again, you know, things go bad. It, you know, for me, you know, I still have cash flow. Now, things, you know, people don't pay rents, price of goods and services go up whatever the case may be, but see a lot of my cash flow, right? My cash flow is, is in my business, right? A lot of the cash flow is in my business. Most of my debt is in my business. You look under my personal uh, credit report, you maybe see a couple mortgages or whatever. Most of the stuff that I have is in my business, right? And with my business, I can borrow more. So I use credit to make money. I don't buy frivolous things. I mean, every once in a while I do, but for the most part, I use my business credit to make more money. I can use my business credit to leverage the use for down payments, to, to fix up places, to flip them, whatever in case I need to be. But it took me about four or five years to really get my business to that point. Anyway, this, this video is not about that. It's about the state of the economy and what I'm doing. So what I'm doing, is I'm clearing out debt, all right? And I'm looking to use my assets that I already have to purchase more assets because it's just like Monopoly. Whoever owns, you know, you, it's a couple ways you can win Monopoly. It's either you own a lot of property on the board and people pay you every time they land on it, or you own the right property, kind of like on that right side, that park place, that boardwalk. You can own less properties and own those or whatever the case may be, or level up to those and get paid that way. All right, that's today's lesson. Peace.